It's a Group 1 battle in Bergen County to kick off our Week 0 action. Hasbro Kites riding high on a 15-game win streak in a bowl title from last year. But Crestkill has other plans. The Cougars want to break that streak and start their year with a bang. The Aviators dink and dunk on their first drive. Sean Lee finds Rocco Minicello for the first down completion. And then Sean Lee doing it himself. The three-yard keeper caps off a 12-play, 70-yard drive. Heights takes a 7-0 lead midway through the first quarter. Crestkill finds some momentum at the end of the first. Aiden Fulner to Kyle McGee who rumbles for first down yardage. And then Fulner doing it himself decides to keep it under and he weaves his way into the end zone. Fulner makes it a 7-7 game at the end of the first quarter. Hasbrook Heights goes right back on offense and the Aviators know how to move the ball. Rocco Minicello on the jet sweep. He dives, extends, is it good? Yes, Rocco Minicello from 17 yards out. Heights with a 14-7 lead, 10 minutes left in the first half. Crestkill will answer with yet another long drive. Third and 14, Fulner finds Matt McDermott for the conversion. He's just short of the goal line, but don't worry Crestkill fans, Aiden Fulner's got an answer. From one yard out, he gets behind that big, beefy offensive line and gets into the end zone. Crestkill makes it a 14-14 game, 6-18 left in the half. The Cougars had real success running the rock. Fulner with the design keeper and gains 51 yards. He'll get taken down at the six. Crestkill can't convert a short field goal, so we head into the half, still tied at 14. In the third quarter, this Crest Kill defense is able to pin their ears back and get after the quarterback. Jerry Macris wraps Lee up for the sack and loss. So why not bring more pressure? Well, that's exactly what the Cougars do. Dan Ferreira and Davis Rogovich team up for yet another sack. Crest Kill turning up the heat on this Heights offense. And here comes this potent Cougars rushing attack again. Fulner was magical with the rock. He sprints outside and hits the spin button right there. He gets into the end zone on a 12-yard carry. Crestkill now with a 21-14 lead midway through three. Hasbrook Heights had trouble moving the ball, so Crestkill back on offense, and once more, folks, it's Aiden Fulner showing off his magic. This is another crafty run down to the two-yard line, and it's going to set up another score. Fulner feeds Tim Coffey, who trucks his way into pay dirt. Coffey makes it a 28-14 crest kill lead through three full quarters of action. The Cougars would lean exclusively on the run game in the fourth quarter, not attempting a single pass. It worked because the Cougars continued to score. That keeper is Fulner's fourth touchdown of the game. Crest kill makes it 35-14. And you have to give credit to this Cougar defense. They pitched a shutout in the second half. One final big play here, courtesy of who else? Aiden Fulner comes up with the INT. And folks, that's going to all but seal this one up. Crestkill lost 55-14 to Hasbro Heights last season. This year, they capture a 35-14 win. Crestkill has not defeated the Aviators since the 2006 season. But even more notably, they snapped Hasbro Heights' 15-game win streak. Emotions were sky high after the win, and you can bet that the Cougars were feeling great. You know, Hasbro Heights is a great program, as they've been, you know, the past couple years. But, you know, Coach Quinn has installed in us, you know, that we work hard, and we've worked hard this past summer. You know, we can take these guys down. We had a great game plan this whole week. Uh, our line did a great job opening up, and our receivers did a hell of a job coming back to the ball. Tim Coffey ran his ass off. But uh, they're a great program. We just, we just got them tonight. Reporting from Crestkill, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.